three, two, one, go. What's up, dog? Welcome back to the greatest visual line car channel that's ever been on the internet. You have now tuned in to LJJ Line Car. Sit back and relax and watch this video to the end and count your blessings. Because if you made it to this video, or if you so happen to click it, you are about to be entertained and educated to become one of the greatest lawn care providers that's ever walked the face of the planet. It's just the way that it is. I am Larry Johnson Jr. If you haven't known by now, that's a shame on you. But let's jump right into it. So now I'm getting messages in the comments saying that they're going to put me out of business. And it's not just me. They're talking about anybody that has made lawn care into a real life business. I got a comment saying there is grown men like us that actually tries to make lawn care into a business. Trying. See, the problem with that comment is that real men don't try to do nothing. We just do. You know, see that kind of comment. When people talk like that, it's like a person got to question the masculinity within the vicinity. I mean, are we men or not? We just businessmen, right? Businessmen just do. That's just how it is. How you think businesses come around? How you think they come about? Men make businesses out of anything. There's men right now that's making business out of cracking people backs. There's men that's out here making businesses out of cracking toes, and massaging people muscles taking out the trash, washing down windows, putting up ceiling fans, cooking food, anything that you can think of, men has already been making businesses out of it. So that was the dumbest statement that I ever heard in my whole entire life when somebody says, there's grown men like you that try to make cutting grass into a business. There's teenagers that can cut grass and anybody can do it. Look her broski, I don't know what time you living in, but we, are those teenagers that you was talking about we them boys that are men now we the ones that you was talking about bro you don't remember but we them guys that was out there at the age of 10 11 12 that was out there cutting grass to make some money to buy us some junk food like some candy and chips and stuff so we can be energized to play catch a girl get a girl out in the streets while the sun was beaming down and the heat caused sweat to drip down our cheeks we had them treats for them girls that needed them out in the streets and when the heat had reached the peak we caught on our ogs that had came out with them pipe branches to open up that fire hydrant so we could continue playing out in them streets in the water flooding up the neighborhood before the firefighters came and closed it off but when they left the og uncles opened them right back up so that's a whole nother conversation about our generation so you got to know that we ain't the type of people that just fold our businesses man ain't no putting us out our resistance is too strong and we are way too self-reliant to be put out of business and that's just the way it is People like us have special high level sophisticated systems that's in place for situations, man. You can't stop us. I'm just keeping it real. You can't stop us. Real established businessmen go out of business by choice, broski. You need to know that. And if we want the business to go on, we'll just hire somebody else, man, to operate the business for us. We'll place ourselves in position where we just sit back and just collect the revenue and manage the situation if not hire and train a manager to do it. Now, let's talk about the fact that they say that teenagers can do what we do. Come on now, man. I want you to think about this and be real to yourself. Be true to yourself, don't lie. And I'm asking anybody that's out here, tell me when was the last time you seen a teenager out here cutting grass? I ain't seen them. I haven't seen them this year, last year, the year before, the year before that. They ain't out here, man. Let's be real. Let's stop this line. That was a full-blown lie. You lied. Teenagers ain't finna take or put us out of business. Man, they inside the house. They inside the house playing games, trying to cool off, trying to be cool. You know what I'm saying? They ain't even trying to breed at this point, broski. They up here just, just in the darkness playing games. Come on, now. Be real with yourself. Stop lying. That was a full-blown lie. Some of y'all just be getting up here just talking just to be talking. This is real life conversations. I'm not up here playing no games. The only people that's really out here for real is us. 
the real life lawn care providers and homeowners that's cutting their own grass. And guess what? Most of them are women. I ain't never seen so many women that's out here cutting grass. Open up your eyes and look around. Can you see this? Ladies are out here cutting grass. Not teenagers, not kids. The only kid that I know that's out here cutting grass is Jackson. That's Sean's son. He out here because Sean is raising a warrior out here. He raising somebody that's going to be about something. Just like Joe from Cutter Squad, he said it. He said we moving into the summertime. Try to maintain your quality. Just maintain your quality. Straight up. Is your quality going to still be going? Is it still going to be showing? When the sun heat ray beaming down on you is flowing. See, the sad part about this whole situation that you haven't came to grips with and understand, broski, is that the sun is a main sequence star. And as such, it generates this energy by nuclear fusion of hydrogen nuclei into helium. In its core, the sun fuses 620 million metric tons of hydrogen and makes 616 million metric tons of helium each second. So imagine second by second, minute by minute, hour by hour, out in the hot sun while it's beaming down its rays upon you. And the tons of weight of nuclei and helium just leaning up on you while you trying to string trim and mow these yards. It's a different world for us, bro. Yes, we are the elite. Yes, we are the ones. We are the one of the ones. We are the ones that deal with this situation. That's why our value is super high. That's why we think a certain way about ourselves. That's why we move a certain way about how we do things. Because we know that you ain't finna do it. And if a homeowner gets out here and do it, hey, we take our hats off to you and we respect them too. But other than that, don't be sitting up here telling us that we finna go out of business or you finna put us out of business because you got a teenager that sprinkle her and her. Man, please, they are not out here like I said. And if you got you one, a teenager that's out here cutting grass, count your blessings. But you better bet your whole life that he ain't gonna last. Get yourself in a position where you ain't got to worry about this young man showing up at your business because nine times out of ten, he might not make it. And that's a sad thing to say. I ain't trying to be discouraging, but I'm just telling you the truth. These kids are different. Now, let's address the whole situation about being put out of business. If you are being put out of business, let me be the first to tell you, you never had a business. You were possibly a hustler. You was possibly doing this on the side and you couldn't handle it. You couldn't handle the tons of helium pressure being beamed down upon your head by the sun. Let's be real here. Because if you have a business, like I said earlier, you will have a system in place. You will have tactics being done. Let me tell you what happened to me this week. And yet I'm still moving. This week I had to string trim 35 properties by a string trim, an electrical string trim. Now you tell me, how does that look about me being out of business? I know some of y'all are like, man, you need a second lawnmower. You need something going on. I was supposed to have one in April. I just wanted to prove a point to you guys that it don't matter how people look at you. It don't matter what people think inside their hearts and minds and souls. Once you own a business and you are really about your business, you're going to keep it moving. You're going to keep it grooving. It ain't no question about that. I kept it moving with this one more and the string trimmer. Ain't nobody really out here string trimming 32 to 35 properties in a week on their own. I'm just keeping it real. I did it all. I have evidence. If you want to check out the shorts, you can check them out. Them properties look good. They actually look better than, than mowing. That's the scary part. I don't even understand the concept, but that ain't even the conversation. I'm just saying being put out of business is not normal for people like us. We are different. Ain't no going back to the nine to five. The person that suggested that we here put us out of business is an employee. See, employees have the audacity to say different things to individuals that's bosses. And it's strange. It's a very strange thing. But you know what? They ain't going to go on a job and say nothing. To the manager <laughs> who don't even own the business <laughs> it's a crazy concept but you know what it's a weird world the only thing is is that people like us rule our worlds 
We do what we're going to do. And if you don't like it, we will remove you out of our world. And we'll continue to do what we're doing. And framing the frames. And gaming the game. While gaining the games. Which I got to understand. I was raised by men. Men are full-blown masculinity, testosterone-filled individuals. That were seeking to make sure that I was going to be one of the ones so therefore i am sitting up here doing what i do i'm gonna make sure i'm sifting through all the week of the weeks into the one of the ones i gotta get the one of the ones if you one of the ones make sure you drop down in the comments that you're one of the ones and put them l's if you make it to the end put them l's at the end of this joker real talk now let's talk about the oxymorons or should i just say regular morons who just jump into our comments willing to say anything just to get some attention what you got to understand is that real bosses are very decisive we make our own decisions we don't need you to give us advice this is just for your entertainment broski you got to understand where your place is we are helping you and if you feel like you can't use this information stay up out the comments stay out the way just do what you do on your regular day you know what i'm saying hide in the house stay up out the sun way you know what i'm saying go ahead and just watch your your video game play your games do whatever you do man you, you weirdos just do what you do now for those that's willing to break the chain of sitting in the house playing the game and you ain't even got no woman and you're stressed and you're sad and you're depressed and it's breaking your heart that you, you feel like a waste listen you can focus your time and energy on being productive by cutting grass the vitamin d received from the sunshine rays will help your health immensely for example Vitamin D helps the body maintain calcium and prevents brittle bones and protects older adults from osteoporosis. Oh, what you ain't know you was gonna get old one day? Check it out. Not only does vitamin D help your bones and your depression from being in the darkness playing the game locked in without no woman to keep you warm. Instead, you like to have hard legs surrounded about around you. Check this out. Vitamin D from the sun also it's important because it's good for your immune system which can help reduce the risk of illness infections and some cancers real talk while you locked in the darkness playing them games you just don't even understand you need to get out in that sun y'all missing the fun come out into the sun i've been trying to help y'all for the longest big unk right here can only do so much you got to understand life is real now. I'm going to always live my life to the fullest and do what I got to do, man. I haven't caught a cold since 2018. Real talk. I've been out here in these streets, out in this grass, doing what I'm doing. And y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know if you caught a cold or something since 2018. No type of mucus infections of the lungs of nothing. Real talk. I, this is strange, but it's real life. Y'all missing out on the fun. <laughs> cutting grass is healthy <laughs> i guess i'd be the first person to say it i don't mind being the poster child to letting y'all know that cutting grass is healthy now when it comes down to the fumes of the gas that's a whole conversation that need to be separated from this situation but it don't even matter i hope y'all understand the logist of what i'm trying to get to man this has been a very good podcast and i hope you guys get to watch the message and get to hear what's going on if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and share this information for people to advance their lifestyles and get themselves together. Now, if you have not understood anything, the most important thing that I want you guys to understand is that most businessmen are different. We're built different. We're not nice guys. We're not the type of people that just let things slide. We don't be pushed over. We're not strange people that just go through life in, in agreement to everything. We are very self-reliant, self-individuals that think about self. And how I say I think about ourselves, what I'm saying is that we think about our lifestyles. We focus wholeheartedly on what is the bottom line and how we're gonna benefit off this situation. 
I don't care if a customer been with us for three to four to five years. If things get to changing and we have to up our prices, we will up our prices in order to get things in order. And if you have been cutting the same line for about 10 years and you haven't raised the price one time and you are bringing your equipment to that line and you're not considering the fact that you brought your equipment to that line on a trailer or on your truck or in the back of your car trunk you have to understand that that's a part of the labor you had to pick that push more up and put it in your trunk and carry it all the way to the property that you are about to cut it don't matter how you think you are being perceived you are valuable you have just saved that customer from a city fine or a county fine or a hoa fine that is what we are in business for to save our customers from these fines so never think of yourself as low as long as you getting out here dealing with the sun you are the king of the kings of line curve. You are the main source of keeping them comfortable and keeping them from being fine. Never think lowly of yourselves. There are people out here that's going to sell you the ideal that you are not who you are. But you best believe if you are like me and 99% of these individuals that have spent three hundred and ninety nine dollars here four hundred and ninety nine dollars there eight thousand and seven hundred and sixty four dollars there you have to understand that we spend money to make money and if you ain't talking money ain't a dang thing funny real talk real life this is ljj lime care bringing the real of the real to the real that's real in this life in the time that we feel i hope you guys enjoy it make sure you like and share if you need my help i'll be right there this is ljj lime care remember it's up to you to help this channel right here youtube ain't gonna attempt to put me in that algorithm but i'ma holla at y'all later remember keep your ambition greater like and subscribe for free hit that bell check up on this channel peace crazy how i came up in this game and then i ran amok it's larry johnson jr ljj line Kerr, all on them trucks i stand insanely on it bro i love to gain a customer i mainly maintain what i must i earn they trust off of the bucks i'm blessing them with beauty cuts and placing them on youtube because i'm trying to get subscriptions up i'm driven by ambition bro i'm all about integrity you should never compare to me unless you want to see how deep your insecurity can be i'm rolling so low in these streets and all i know is to live free i'm full of peace but when it comes to like her boy i am a beast i never leave until it's clean i get them weeds and everything i throw some seeds and motion leaves and trim them trees and charge them fees and yes i am the king of string i said exactly what i mean you see the way i do my thing them edges squared and crispy clean then if you haven't did it yet go ahead and like subscribe and share and best believe that ljj like Harris gonna be right there